is a wonderful day. The sun's out. It's warm. I'm halfway through the work day. I just had some lunch. It was delicious. And I just found out a little bit ago that old Palantir, Palantir Stoink, got freaking wrecked on earnings. Q4 earnings. <laughs> Now, I've made videos about Palantir before, and I get a lot of hate because Palantir's future, bro. And I'm pretty sure, didn't Kathy Wood buy it? I mean, if she did, that's that's an, a, a huge signal to freaking sell, but whatever. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't track her garbage anymore. But anyway, I made a couple of videos dumping on Palantir because, in my opinion, although it's growing revenue very rapidly, and it grew pretty rapidly last quarter, it is massively, massively, massively unprofitable. Massively. Now, I did some quick napkin math. Ugh, excuse me. I just had a big lunch. I just did some napkin math. And the profit margin for the most recent quarter is negative 30%, 36% while when using generally accepted accounting principles. So on the income statement. <clears throat> now, revenue did increase pretty significantly, which, you know, nothing wrong with that. Business should grow can't complain about that and they had some i think they had positive operating cash flow and free cash flow so at least they have something positive in their financial statements but holy freaking crap negative 30 percent profit margin on the income statement what a load of crap and you go look at the last couple of quarters negative 30 percent negative 25 percent negative this negative that they're losing money hand over freaking fist okay why would you buy a stock like this? Well, number one, you have no idea what you're doing and you just buy stoinks because they dipped. Palantir dipped, so just buy the dip. That doesn't always work, ladies and gentlemen. Dips can keep dipping. They can keep dipping and dipping and dipping. And number two, you're a gambling degenerate. <clears throat> now, there's one person I really want to shout out who bought Palantir, or I don't even know if he did buy Palantir. He's so like secretive. But it's a guy I've been talking about <clears throat> pretty commonly on my channel every day, as a matter of fact. It's old Jeremy LaFoo-Foo. You know that guy that smells like poo-poo. <laughs> now, if you don't know who Jeremy Financial Education is, he's got a YouTube channel. He's got like 715,000 subscribers. Because he's a genius. He bought Tesla, bro. And he's got his own Discord teachable private coaching thing going on <clears throat> now i called that clown well i called his minion his acolytes i wish i could have spoken to him but he's too scared to come on my channel and they quoted me up to twenty thousand dollars so you sign up for his crap and you pay and you, know, you can pay a thousand a couple thousand all the way up to 20 freaking grand for po coaching that's freaking ridiculous <clears throat> who is going to pay that amount of money for Jeremy Financial Education and his clown minions to freaking advise you. Especially after all his stocks have been decimated. Tattooed Truckers Taint. Smile Direct Club. Honest. Uh, I guess Palantir. I don't know if he bought it or not. Voyager. Very good food company. I think that's down 80%. All this guy's picks, except for one stock, have been freaking trash. Utterly and disgustingly sick. Now, they all have one thing in common. A lot of his stocks do. Most of the companies are unprofitable. Now, when a company's unprofitable, they have nothing underpinning them, okay? So, if a market correction comes or, you know, the mood changes in the market, stocks that have no profits or are losing money massively, they can get freaking wrecked, okay? The only reason people buy stocks like that is because they think, oh, someday in the future, they're going to turn profitable and then... Bunch of people like Strongman and Wall Street are gonna come in and buy up the stock and I'm gonna make so much money. Well, that happens every once in a while, like with Tesla. I mean, a lot of people didn't believe in Tesla. It was unprofitable. And I wouldn't have bought Tesla, <clears throat> but it went ahead and freaking mooned because it turned profitable and they started knocking it out of the park. But that's not gonna happen for the vast majority of your investments, okay? If you think Jeremy's a genius because he bought Tesla, you're freaking wrong, okay? Go look at his cost basis. He didn't put that much into Tesla. And it, it's just getting proven time and time again that the guy's a gambling degenerate. He buys massively unprofitable, mostly small cap growth stocks. And he recently 
God, people keep commenting on my videos. I don't know if it's freezing my uh, my camera. But <clears throat> recently he made a video about Pelletier. Pelletier. And I didn't watch it at all because I don't have time to watch an hour freaking video. But he said it's the next 20X stock, okay? You know, maybe it could be. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not buying it right now. It's losing massive freaking money. So he makes that video and he's watching these two people talk. And I guess he's reacting. There's a guy named like Amit, Amit, Amit Spin or something like that is interviewing this guy from IDM or something and Jeremy's reacting to it. And funny enough, <clears throat> a couple days, a day or two after Jeremy puts his 20X video, the freaking stock tanks by 11% on earnings. The guy's a freaking maniac, okay? How could you possibly pay this dude any amount of money? How could you have any faith in him when every freaking stock he talks about, except for Tesla, has been freaking annihilated, okay? Now, of course, he's had some picks in the past that went up during a massively insane bull market. But you got to remember, this guy also has some pretty terrible calls. Nat, GoPro, all the stocks he bought now recently. Like, holy freaking crap, this guy's a mess. So I thought it was just freaking great to see what happened with Palantir today. Now, what's the whole point of this video? Well, number one, it's to make fun of Jeremy LeFoufou because I've been viciously attacking him. And I'm telling you, Jeremy, if you come on my channel and debate me, you compare your investing philosophy to mine, you know, we can debate, have a friendly debate. I won't be too mean to you. I won't be too mean. I'll probably be meaner than I was to meet Kevin because I really don't like you. But come on my channel. Let's have a friendly debate. Okay, we'll compare VT to all your stoinks. And then you can go your happy, merry way. I mean, you're already referring to me indirectly in your videos. You're calling me Belly, Christopher Belly. My name's Christopher Belly, certified CPA accountant. And you're comparing your stoinks to VT. And of course, you conveniently started it, you know, when you probably have a better chance of outperforming in the near term. But we'll see who outperforms over 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. But whatever, it doesn't matter. And yeah, sorry, there's people driving by everywhere and they're looking at me. Like, why are you, why are you talking to your phone, boy? <laughs> why are you talking to yourself, boy? So come on my channel, Jeremy. Come on, debate me, bro. And on top of that, I just wanted to reiterate, do not put a lot of money in highly speculative stocks like Palantir or Tattoo Truckers Tane or anything else LeFoufou recommends, okay? These stocks, the only reason people are buying them is because they think, oh, one day it's going to be profitable and then I'm going to make a ton of money when everybody else piles in, which is possible. It can happen, but it's unlikely to happen, okay? Palantir, of course, could have potential. I it seems to me they have a pretty strong mode with their software. I don't know. I don't know if they have competitors or not. I really haven't done much research into Palantir. <clears throat> but what I can tell you is, you know, they're mostly a software company. And they have massively growing revenues. Their revenues are growing pretty quickly. I think 30 40%, something like that every quarter. Or ever, maybe it's annualized. But they're losing money like freaking crazy, okay? At least on a gap basis. So if you want to buy Palantir... You know, you do whatever you freaking want. I'm not buying it. I'm buying VT. I buy VT all the time, all day, every day. Literally, I put in like $2 buy orders all day, every freaking day to buy VT. <laughs> and I get up at three in the morning and place buy orders like Jeremy does for his stocks. <laughs> but just be careful with these kind of stocks, okay? Especially with big YouTubers like Jeremy LaFave pumps them on his channel. Because that's how you get freaking wrecked, right? Well, that's it. I'm going to go back to work. Throw in a big fat chew, do some taxes, and that's it. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button notifications, buy my book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. Choo!